Hi guys, this is Ticha from MS Hot Tips. So today I'm going to um, introduce you to a new very cool uh, feature of um, Excel 2016 and this is the distinct count. So without further ado, let's take an example. I have here a table that lists employees with the, um, their working time in the company. So if I want to have, I would, what I would like to do uh, instead if, uh, is um, um, knowing what's the headcount in, th in that company. So what I could do to get that information, I could build a table like that and I could just insert a pivot table that would be based on this table. So I would insert it here. And what I could do, I could take the IDs to IDs, modify the, um, the summary and pick the counts to know how many um, employees I have. But obviously, as you can see in that table, you have some duplicates. So using the counting the number of IDs is not to give you, it's not going to give you, sorry, an accurate result. So instead, what I, I'm going to use that new, very cool feature that is called the distinct count. So I'm going to um, create another pivot table. Uh, I'm going to plug it here once again. But this time around, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click that uh, option, and that's going to allow me to um, use the distinct count of IDs. So now when I introduce the IDs, just like I did, I'm going to, <clears throat> to go for that option. And what I do instead of selecting the count, I go to the bottom of that box and I select the distinct count. And that option wasn't available in the first, um, in the first go round because the table hadn't been added to the data model. So once I'm done, I get 67. And guess what? This is actually the number of employees that I will get here um, after uh, I remove the duplicates entries. So that's it, guys. I hope that will be useful for you. And I uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.